Just want to show you guys a quick video of uh, some more of the work that I've been doing on my gauges. Um, my uh, 77 Celica is going to be running a mega squirt. So what I'm doing is I have a mega squirt over here running off of the stem, and I have it enabled CAN, so C A N controller area network, and uh, this puts out its data. Comes over here to uh, this. That's a, a Teensy. 3.2 um, that has a uh, CAN controller built in that then takes the data digests it and outputs it to this over here which is an MSP430 and that then controls the stepper motor that's here on the back of the, uh, the gauge face so the plan is to have a bunch of data coming out of the mega squirt all of it going to the Teensy, and then from the Teensy, it will then spread it out to different gauges. So the speedometer, the tachometer, um, say oil pressure, coolant temperature, pretty much anything that you can get in a mega squirt, you can put out on this. And so from the Teensy to here is communicating via I squared C. Um, I had considered using CAN to communicate with each of the gauges directly from the mega squirt but it's cheaper and easier to use one main controller the teensy and then a bunch of smaller controllers the MSP430 on the back of every gauge so right now I have the mega squirt running off a of stim let's see let's move it up to I don't know around 4000 rpm see if we can hit it that's close enough so over here we're right at 4,000 RPM. And so as I move it over here on the stem, I'm controlling where the tachometer is up here. Now the advantage of doing this is that I can guarantee that my tachometer is now 100% accurate, whereas the factory tachometer that, that uh, triggers off of the negative side of the coil, or in my, in my case off the uh, negative side of the Edis coils, um, it's off, you know, when I'm um, when I'm triggering it off of my Edis coils that I have in there now, I'm only getting half of the RPM, and even at that, it's not even accurately half. When I'm at 4,000 RPM, I'm reading like 1,700 or something like that. Um, so using the Mega Squirt, I can guarantee that it's completely 100% accurate. Um, the stepper motor that I'm using in here is a uh, a Switek stepper motor. It's the exact same stepper motor that's used in pretty much every GM car in the last 10 years or something like that so they're very well proven motors it's the same motors that I'm using in my other gauges that I had started out with um, the plan is basically we'll have a really small MSP 430 obviously not this entire board it'll be just a small um, chip I think it'll be a 28 pin package either 28 or 20 pin uh, soldered on there and it'll be very few components that'll go on the back of the individual gauge circuit board probably less than five dollars in materials for it um, which is a lot cheaper than some of the other options that I found out there that uh, communicate natively with CAN um, we'll, uh, I'll post some more updates whenever I've got them you know when I get this running in the car but for now you know it obviously looks like a mess but it'll be cleaned up really quickly and just let me know if you have any questions